Okay, obviously a uh, tough loss down at the Coliseum for us. Uh, I was extremely proud of the way our our players hung in there and and fought to the to the bitter end. It was, you know, we had uh, our opportunity at the end there to to put it in overtime. Didn't take advantage of that opportunity, but uh, there's th things to build on in this game. Uh, I thought the defense played solid. I wouldn't say they played great defense, but they played opportunistic defense. We had some key takeaways, some key stops at points in the game where we had to have them or the game could have got away from us. So so uh, positive there. Uh, offensively, uh, the uh, throw game was improved. We had more production in the throw game, more shots down the field, more, more uh, receivers making plays on the ball. Uh, run game was not good. That's something that uh, is, we got to continue to address. And you know, it was solid the, the week before, but obviously the uh, the degree of difficulty was much higher in this particular game. And so, uh, going forward, we got to have more production in the run game if we want to be a, a consistent offense. Um, you know, looking ahead, uh, it's rivalry week. Even though it's week three, I mean, it's here. It's on us. And so, uh, you know, our players uh, will respond from this from this. Uh, Road trip to SC. We'll be ready to go. Uh, you know this team has a great attitude. They're they have a great leadership, and uh, I don't foresee any issues in uh, getting back and getting in the right mindset to prepare for the upcoming game. So questions, Coach? Can you talk a little bit about the the quarterbacks um, <clears throat> in both programs? If there are any similarities, and maybe the strong points for for both quarterbacks? Well, our guy, um, you know, has won a lot of ball games for us. Um, you know, true, true junior. So he's a year older, obviously, than than uh, than Jay Keeps is. Um, you know, they're similar in style as far as they're both po both pocket guys. You know, they don't like to get out of the pocket. Uh, you know, Heaps obviously has a very strong arm. I mean, that's one of his uh, you know his main attributes is his arm strength. Um, you know, I don't know enough about him personality wise or any of that to make any other statements than that. But our guy is. Uh, a student of the game, you know, exceptional football IQ, knows where to go with the ball. Not that Heaps doesn't. I'm just speaking from our from our standpoint, and and uh, so you know, they're, but they're both in the correct schemes, I believe. You know, they're, they're, the schemes are, are similar on both sides now, as far as pro style attack. Kyle, back here. How would you uh, grade out the offensive line against SC? Offensive line against SC overall, probably a. C, C plus, you know, we, we did some good things in protection. We did get sacked a couple times, you know, but, but, uh, you know, sacks are not always a product of the offensive line play. You know, sometimes you got to get the ball out quicker. Sometimes you have an opportunity to step up in the pocket instead of flush one way or the other and, and flush into a rush. And so I would say pass protection wise, you know, overall C plus, but maybe a, a, a B pass protection wise and a C minus run wise, you know, for overall grade of a, a C plus of that makes sense coach there's been some instances uh before and after games of whether it's fan, skirmishes between fans or some stuff going on before the game between the teams what are your thoughts on that i mean as far as making it as civil arrival yeah I guess. you know i hope that uh you know it has gotten a little bit overboard in situations to say the least but but uh, hopefully you know cooler heads will prevail this year and we'll be able to to uh have an uneventful you know situations in the stands and, and on the field and that type of thing and, and put keep it in perspective you know, I think you know, it's a great rivalry it's a great game it's intense but uh, there is that line that you cross over that hopefully we don't cross over this year uh, you've coached against several of the Reynolds brothers on BYU's offensive line is there kind of a common denominator of those guys yeah they're all good players and uh, they're, they're they've been productive and they're you know Matt uh, the, the left tackle is an exceptional player he should be a you know a high draft choice and and uh, his brother the place right next to him a left guard is a, is a solid player as well and so that's the common thread is they're all they're all quality players can you comment on the score change at SC when you found out and if yeah. you have any feelings on that that was odd you know I didn't know till the next morning and uh, still haven't got a official explanation at least one-on-one -on -one with anybody that that uh, you know is is uh, with the people that are in charge and, and made that decision. I'm I'm scheduled to talk to uh, Tony, our uh, supervisor of officials today at some point. But but that's interesting. I, I need to you know it's it's inconsequential in the outcome and and it's not a you know a big deal to me because you know we lost the football game and that's kind of a sidebar to the whole thing. But I would like an explanation. So you know for moving forward, you know for example if. 
you know, if we would have stripped the guy running the ball back and the people that were on the field would have been a factor, does that change how the how it's officiated and administered? I mean, there's there's a lot to that that I'd like to know going forward, just more so than just what happened in that isolated incident. Can you give me your read on, on BYU's defense and specifically maybe their front seven and their linebackers? They kind of think this is maybe as good a crew as they've had since that, that team three or four years ago put some yeah, guys in the NFL. They've been playing good defense, uh, particularly against the run. And uh, they're stout up front. The linebackers are active. They have those four, uh, you know, that three-four set, and the uh, four linebackers are extremely active and and uh, make a lot of plays for them. And and through two ball games, they've been uh, very stingy, doing a good job. Is um, Coleman still your guy kicker after watching the film, or can you comment about that? Yeah, he's he's our guy, and uh, you know the kick, although it was a little bit low in trajectory, lower than you'd like. Uh, but there's still there was a little bit of push on our right side, and so the the combination of a, just a little bit lower trajectory than usual and just a little bit of push, it wasn't, uh, you know, nobody came through clean, but we got knocked back just a little bit, and they had their big uh, offensive lineman, uh, six foot seven guy, you know, in that exact spot through the flight of the ball, and and uh, that was where the block materialized. But but no, I thought Coleman uh, he struck the ball well, the hold was good, the snap was good, the kick was solid, although like I said, a little bit low, but uh, I thought that Coleman handled that situation well. It just didn't work out for us.